action. Yeah. Okay. Today we're talking about the needle jet, the thing that fits inside the slide that runs inside the carburetor. Right here, I got the little clip right here. As you can see, it's just a little blast, you know, needle. It's pointing at one end, you know, with a beveled end. It's got four little, four little ridges right here where you can set your clip, you know, Sam, for the, for the depth or the, you know, of the jet into the venturi in the bottom of the carburetor to make the flow go in, right? Air fuel mixture. All right. Now, after extensive research <laughs> and riding up and down a little bit, you know, what I'm saying I, I had just clicked on the bottom, thinking that it was going to raise the slide, but I was incorrect. Right, so the way I figured it out now is, is that when it's on the top clip, it's the leanest. Second one down, it's lean. Third one down, it's rich. Fourth one down, it's full rich. You know what I'm saying? With the, with the needle all the way down into the, vent, you know, all the way up from the venturi. Right, and just letting in the most gas. Right, so um, the way I figured out how to put this thing on and off is you got to use a regular standard pair of pliers and get your clip right there. And then you can pop, pop it on and pop it off. Right? So I'm setting it on on the second one. It came stock on the third one down, so right, just click it on, just like that. Drop it. There you go. Right, now it's ready to put back in the slide. Alright, I'm saying black slide. This is the part that the cable drops in. It works up and down. Alright, we'll put it back together. See how it goes. Okay, so here we are. We got the spring, the jet, the needle, we got the pat mat clip, we got the slide, we got the top of the carburetor right here. So Putting it back together is the reverse of taking it apart, so uh, I'm just going to show you guys how to put it back together. Alright, so here we go. First what you want to do is you want to take... Here. First what you want to do is you want to take <coughs> the needle, remember we raised it up and click, drop it down into the barrel, take the pac mat clip, you know what I'm saying, you want to line it up with the groove, with, with the slot, you know what I'm saying, put your pac mat clip in, all right, just like that, line it up with the slot, you know saying, there it is. All right, and then right, we're ready to go almost. So let's turn the camera around. And point it right there. Pick up our pieces. We should have three pieces here. The top, the spring, the slide. All right, now. What you first want to do is you want to feed the cable in down through the top of the Get up in there. All right, then we want to put the spring on. Compress the spring as best you can. All right, there we go. You want to have the end piece out like that. Hook it from the bottom in. Right, make sure the slide and the spring goes down. All right, there you go. Now. There's a couple of little pins and stuff on the inside right here. The slide along, you know, saying that allow you to put it in right. So it only goes in one way. So put her in. If it doesn't go one way, turn it around. Slide it in. There it is. Once you got it in the slot. Put the top on, screw it back on. Now we're gonna go start it up, give it a run, see how it works. That was it. Um, overall, right, the uh, low speed characteristics have improved like, by half. Um, it runs a lot better. As you can see, it idles a lot better. I don't have a boost bar or anything. It's a stock setup. Right, uh, because I had to add this piece right here because my throttle thing broke. You know what I'm saying? I had to readjust and figure it out. Um, after, like I said earlier, after looking it up and paying attention and doing some research, you know what I'm saying? I discovered that a lot of you guys, you know what I'm saying, right? You're, 
really with it. All right, so, all right, but overall, you know what I'm saying, the characteristics have improved a lot. I'm seeing it runs a lot better. I'm saying I got an old spark plug. All right, I'm using a 41 mix, right, in my stock. Right, it runs better. It's high speed characteristics overall. It accelerates a lot better. It runs better at the top, you know what I'm saying? But because because I got 32 6 gear, I can go a lot faster. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm saying the air is right now here in Phoenix is a little dense. Right? It's not very cool. So it runs really good. So mileage is probably gonna improve. So, you know what I'm saying? Let's review what we did. What we did was we took the we took the top off and we got through the needle jet and we moved the clip up one. It actually up two because it was at the bottom full rich. Now it's on the first lean mixture. Right, I think I'm going to leave it there and let it run until the, the rest of the life of this spark plug and see how it goes. Right. Now, in conjunction with the needle jet adjustment that we have in here, we also have this screw. Now, some guys call it air screw, some guys call it a fuel screw, idle screw. Right, so this is what I figured out. But back, it's Russian. Right? This is based on a Russian design from back in the 30s, so it worked kind of like a chainsaw. You know what I'm saying? This is what I think. I think that you're adjusting not only the airflow, but also the fuel flow at the bottom of the jet, because the jet and, and this screw coming together at the bottom here, right? So what I did was I screwed mine all the way in after I put it up on two clicks, right? Or, yes, remember, because I have mine at the bottom. Now I'm going to move it up to the middle, to the top, you know, sec third click up. Right? Then I screwed it all the way in, right? Screwed it back out. I started at two and a half. Right now, I didn't right, when run it, didn't I don't want to idle very well, so I turned it two and two and three quarters. Right when run it, I did a little bit better, you know what I'm saying? I adjusted it out. So like right now where I'm at two and three quarter turns, if this is being up. See if up is if up is at the side right here, because that's where it dead ends right here. This is two and three quarter turns right here on this. Now it seems to idle better, wants to run better. Right? The idle thing on these carburetors is kind of up or down anyway. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's the way it works. If, if I had a better breather and maybe one of those boost bottles, it would just, this thing would just run like a mad chicken. But anyway, I, I just thought, you know what I'm saying, my thoughts on how this whole system works because, you know, I had it backwards. Somebody pointed that out to me, you know what I'm saying, on one of my videos. So, hey, I did the right thing. And I went and figured it all out and tested it myself after extensive, exhaustive testing on my motorized bicycle. I had given you the straight facts here on how to adjust your needle jet and your air and fuel mix. Right, idle screw. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.